Thank you for tuning in to King Lord Jesus Christ Covenant Bible Faith Ministries. And we're starting off in Genesis chapter 2, starting off at verse 8. Life in God's Garden. The Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground the Lord God made every tree grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life was also in the midst of the garden, in the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from there it part, parted and became four riverheads. The name of the first is Pishon. It is the one which encompassed the whole land of Havala. Which, where there is gold, and the gold of the land is good. Bedalium and the onyx stone are there. The name of the second river is Gion. It is the one which encompassed the whole land of Cush. The name of the third river is Hezdekel. Hedekel. It is the one which goes towards the east of Assyria. The fourth river is the Euphrates. The, and then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may eat, you may freely eat. But of the tree of good, I mean, of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him out of the ground the lord god formed every beast of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to adam to see what he would call them and whatever adam called each living creature that was his name so adam gave names to all cattle to the birds of the air and to every beast of the field but for adam there was not found a helper comparable to him and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in its place. Then the rib which the Lord God has taken from man, he made into a woman, and he brought her to the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. 